Hey, we're here today at 2600 Wild Fern, Tennessee fan. And we're looking at a lawn that's uh, it's a blend of fescues. Some looks like some hybrid fescue and some Kentucky 31. There's some areas where the lawn has died back. Uh, I know the lawn's under irrigation, or either that or it rained a lot last night because there's a lot of available soil moisture here right now. <clears throat> I pulled, in my uh, soil analysis, I pulled a number of cores uh, just to do my analysis. And uh, I don't know if this is old grub damage here, but I can even tell along the curb that the sprinkler system's run this morning. But we're looking at a, a pretty good sized lawn, and uh, not all of it needs to be seeded so probably the best course of action here would be uh, to seed the, the areas that are bare and thin with the same type of turf grass that we've got. This is clearly hybrid fescue in here and, uh, <clears throat> and just do an equivalent of 5,000 square feet. It's a really a nice lawn. Here's a weak area here. spend the time moving around instead of going back and forth. Here's a typical core. I was able to probe down about four inches. There's like about an inch of what looks like maybe a, um, a sandy loam and then down here it gets into more of a of a clay loam. And this this interface here will be uh, penetrated by the natural aeration material so we'll be able to see movement of the materials that are applied and the, stimulate the root growth to get on down into that deeper warehouse reservoir of water. I did uh, I checked the pH in several places it was uh, between 5, 6 and 6 most places so the average is about 5, 8 I don't know if you can see that but that's the story here and I'm out.